Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in another once human video. In this one we will talk about Jav's pistol and uh, unstable bomber build, right? So first what I want to say about all this and we will play a wish machine of course. First thing what you want to do guys, you want to craft the weapon, right? So first you need to level to be able to unlock tier 5, then you want to craft the tier 5 of course because it's the maximum damage there. So after you craft the tier 5 weapon, you want to press J then, then you want to calibrate that weapon tier 5 on plus 10 to be able to unlock all 3 attributes, right? Then you replace the attributes with what you want. Now here I have critical damage because the best is to use critical rate, of course, for this pistol. But because I didn't have any better now, I use critical damage. And after you have the gun tier 5, after you calibrate it on plus 10, you added the attributes you want, now you have the gun ready, and now you need to make all other items towards that gun, right, so, jobs and unstable bomber. So now I will first show you my mods for this, because I'm playing with this mode here, so when triggering unstable bomber, to automatically refill 10% of magazine, right, and you can also use this one, let's say, for every 1% crit rate, or maybe this one, but uh, for me, for now, is the best is to use this one. And then, from attribute effects, what you want on the gun is element damage, weapon damage, and crit damage, of course. So I'm using this one, right? And for this mod to work, you need to have at least 20 bullets in the magazine, right? Because then it will reload two bullets each time, then it activates. So because of that, I'm playing with that mod, I set up everything else. For this gun and for that mode, you know what I mean, so my magazine capacity now is 20, as you can see, to be able to manage that mode to work. And now all the other modes, guys, this one, fire rate 10% for the first 50% magazine and then weapon damage. And again, here is not that great, so only status damage is good here, but this is what I got so far, the best one, right? You can go with this one if you don't have the magazine ca capacity enough. But, uh, because now I have 20 bullets, I don't need to use that one here. Then on the mask, I have this, when unstable bomber hits only one enemy, final damage 25%, and here is 7.2 magazine capacity, element damage again, right? So for the mask, you can go maybe with this one, actually this is the same too, but, uh, yeah, I'm using this one because of the magazine capacity here. Then here is pure crit rate, of course, and here is another magazine capacity, so with these two, I'm able to have 20 bullets, so for this mod on the gun to work. Then on the shoes, I have this, taking no damage against within 4 seconds, again weapon and status damage 30%, you know what I mean, 20% for 30 seconds, and here is crit damage, weapon damage again, so that's what you want to prioritize. Then on the jacket, I have this because I like to stack damage reduction, and here is status damage, the only one good. You can use whatever you want here, but prioritize status damage, weapon damage again, or whatever you need, you know what I mean. And on the pants, guys, I'm using this, so each crit by non-melee weapons, plus 5% crit damage again. And here is weapon damage, max HP, and crit damage, right? Here you can use maybe this one, if you want. So, this one, or this one that I'm using now, so... Here you can get 20% uh, more damage after 5 bullets. And I like to use this one more for the crit damage, right? So this is my setup now, and I fuck it up because last season I unlocked the Lone Wolf Jacket. And we actually need the Vulture Top for this build, for the Javs, right? So I need to actually buy two new more Lone Wolf sets. So I will buy probably shoes and the gloves to go with the pants. So then I will have this magazine capacity crit rate and stacks of Lone Wolf Shadow again for the crit damage, right? So you need three Lone Wolf sets, you need Vulture Top, and uh, Vulture Top we're gonna get now from playing this Wish Machine here. So you need this item, guys, Vulture Pyromaniac, and now on the third game in this week, this is only for exactly that, if I press here. So if you, if you empty the pool, you will get the fragments only, right? So you need to actually get a real blueprint here. So if I'm lucky, maybe I will get it from the first few hits. If not, I need to play as long as I, I empty the pool and then I'm gonna get it for sure and I'm gonna get the fragment also. 
but that costs 10k so each pool have 20 rewards and that's 20, that's 10k because 500 is each hit so 20 hits 10k and then, then you will always get the item you want from that pool from that game right and i'm hoping to get the shaman really quick then i can go then play the depth charge because this is only for javs and other weapons but because ultimate rewards is fragments and you can get the weapon complete weapon fragment five percent chance right so again if you empty the pool with 10k you will get the weapon and with this then i can upgrade javs to stars too if i go to blueprints here you know what i mean and then i can add the second star here with this because now i don't have any blueprints to upgrade this gun and this is my plan guys so first play the wish machine here play the vulture pyromaniac if i get the item real quick i will then jump to depth of charge try to get the gun also to max it out on star 2 and i need to go to blueprint shop here guys and just buy the lone wolf set you know what i mean in the end so i need to leave 6000 so i have i will have 11000 to play on the wish machine so i can empty only one pool and let's start playing actually now so i will try and get this vulture pyromaniac now guys so let's do it and come on i if i now get it from the first few hits that would be awesome but uh i don't know that's gonna happen all oh, blue now one yeah i need to i will probably need to empty the pool guys look at this shit not even one gold so far so and that's the first one tornado yeah i don't need this so that's not good not good again not good not good not good fuck it so it's gonna be last rewards probably this uh, what i need uh, like always and now yeah stone weaver shoes fucking hell yeah i need to empty the pool guys stone weaver hood i don't need any of these and finally shaman vulture top because i emptied the pool right and the bonus is so tornado bp stone weaver yeah and shaman vulture top that's what we needed guys and now the pool is actually emptied now again right oh no because now it's only one game yeah okay so when you empty the pool that's it so you got uh, you got the vulture set you got all the fragments yeah that's very good and now i can go to depth of charge guys immediately start playing this one but now I'm hoping to get a gun before I spend everything. So let's try. Do this. Come on, man. Give me some legendary, please. Don't be like that. Ah, yeah, it's always like this, guys. So now probably the last reward is going to be. And no. I got the tent. But it's only 10. 10 fragments, yeah. So that's it from this game i didn't manage to get it but yeah so let me just check again depth charge how many is left so the final reward is left only one here and four here okay so i need to earn just a little bit more starcom guys then i'm gonna get this so i've used all the starcom now we got what we wanted i mean i got the set at least right so now let's go and grab the armor so we need the vulture top oh no but now i fuck it up because i spent all the starcom and i needed to buy a lone wolf set yeah now i fuck it up guys but yeah let's see so where is that so shaman vulture top after triggering against evil bomber crit rate plus 35 percent yeah okay let's buy that tier 5 right equip now go to calibrate immediately and this is the top so let's see can i calibrate it all the way yeah, of course okay so it's plus six and now let's see something so the gun need to be equipped in my hands to be able to see this now okay and see and it's 21 percent now because it's only 15 here and six on the gun right but this should be 35 more so when this activates and now just add the mod that i had on the previous one so it was this one yeah okay just put it on this one man 
Now I lost actually 5% crit rate because I removed the other piece of lone wolf set, right? They actually need at least one, but now, but now let's try this gun with this setup. So 20 bullets with my mods. Let's see, guys. Now you see how many bullets I have with this mods equipped like this. I don't think. Uh, Yeah, very much better now. Much, much better with the Shaman Vulture top. So 500, it's almost half a million damage. 20 bullets, guys. And I even, I even miss now one piece of the set. I mean, I'm missing two. I need to buy three of these. So I'll be able to raise the crit rate and then get the Lone Wolf Shadow Stacks and raise the crit damage again because now it's on 83. With this, it's gonna go more than 100. You know what I mean? And this will be like 70%, this will be more than 100, so I just need two more pieces of Lone Wolf set. And then I'm gonna leave probably this one, max HP and weapon damage. Or I will leave maybe this one, max HP and then element damage blaze, because the gun is worth some blaze. But I will take probably this. So scout, mask and the helmet, it's gonna be scout, both of these. All of all these three, it's gonna be... Lone Wolf guys, and I have now this Shaman Vulture top. So that's it, I showed you all my mods for this gun now, and how it works. And calibration, I have the crit damage you want, crit rate, or something like that, maybe mix crit damage and crit rate, you know what I mean. And then, add mods like this, what I had, and this is my stats, now I showed you the gun. So let's do it one more time, this is without any buffs, without anything. All what I have here now, this here is uh, Chloro Armor and the Weaver guys. And I just drink the beer and uh, this for the health, so... No any bonuses here. never stop shooting almost with this gun now. Take a lot of time to empty the magazine, guys. You know what I mean. And this is how it works with these modes. So now if I go here and let's say I change this mode. So it's not gonna refill the magazine, but for every 1% crit rate, right? Unstable bomber damage is gonna go. And element damage a bit more, status damage, right? But now you will see that actually it's better with the other mode because now this one when it's fired up it's just gonna that's it you know you need to reload and it's 100k damage now if i continue you know what i mean but you need to reload so i think for me best mode for to use on this gun is that one that i was using to refill the magazine you just need to raise your magazine capacity to be 20 or more and that's it. And then you will fire this gun like it's a like it's a machine gun. You know what I mean. <laughs> so this is good, but it's not. This one is the best mod for me. At, at least I think so. For me, it's the best mod. That one. And uh, okay, let's try this one also. Why not? With everything else the same. Yeah, this one is even worse. So no, guys. As I see now from all these three, the best is this one. So refill your magazine, then uh, put all your mods to just have 20 bullets in the magazine, right? Raise the magazine capacity a bit. And then go fully on crit damage, crit rate, and status damage, right? So burn, blaze, and this, what this gun is using. And that's it from this unstable bomber build for the jobs. What you need, three lone wolf set, this shaman vulture top, and then use the scout set or the heavy duty whatever you want if you don't have any other legendaries and that's it guys it's a must have lone wolf set and the vulture top right and for the calibration you want rapid shot style fire rate plus 25 percent and magazine capacity if you want to use this mode 
you know what I mean? And any other mode actually, the best is rapid shot style for this gun. And then use crit rate or crit damage. And that's it for this video guys. So if you like what you see, consider liking, subscribing and commenting. And join me in another video where we're gonna do something else. Until then, bye guys.